Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on this, uh, I was about to say Skyrim cities, the Oblivion cities. And today's city we're going to talk about is Skingrad. So Skingrad, it's a very unique looking city. It's very closely packed too. It's one of the cities that, it's, I think, if you compare it to the Imperial City, it is more closely packed than the Imperial City. So Skingrad, there's not a lot of area to move around. There's some cool quests though that take place in Skingrad. So the first one is if you are trying to get a cure for vampirism, you talk to the Count. Now something about Skingrad is the castle is very far away from the city because the Count's a vampire. Okay, so you talk to the Count to get your vampire cure and you help him out and save his wife. He's also a very important player in the Mage Guild storyline. You talk to him a lot. And also, Everyone, you know, there's everyone, no one really knows that the Count's a vampire, but there's a lot of hints to vampire because in all the houses, there's like garlic hanging over the fireplace. You know, garlic's a thing that vampires don't like. Um, there's also, in the Thieves' Guild, you have to save a guy from the Skingrad dungeon. So, that's interesting. There's also some cool Fighters' Guild quests in there. The Mage's Guild quest, I don't even remember what it is in Skingrad. That's how important it is to me. You find a crazy guy named Glarthir, though. He's got an interesting quest where you can choose to turn him in, or he asks you to, like, there's people spying on him so you can, you know, kill people for him and he'll pay you for it. So that's a very interesting quest because Glarthir is just a really cool wood elf character. Um, around Skingrad is pretty cool, too. It's very deep green, so a lot of the colors in Oblivion when you're exploring are more like green or yellowish green, whereas Skingrad is more green and blue. It's also known a lot for its wines. Like, that's where all the vineyards are, is around Skingrad. But I think for me, the biggest thing about Skingrad is the whole allure to vampirism. It's very gothic city, you know? Like, that's got, it's got the whole vampire vibes in it. And I, I just think that that's kind of a really cool thing that they do, where like, the Count's a vampire, so they make the whole city like this weird, vampirish looking city. It's very ominous, very dark. I don't want to live there. I bought the house once. I don't even know what the house looks like in Skingrad. I really don't. Um, the alchemist for the Nernroots also lives in Skingrad. So if you're doing the Nernroot quest, you're going to be talking to him a lot. And you can also get some dope alchemy training from him as well. But that's really what makes Skingrad special. It's... It, for me, is I don't like it, but I can see where some people would really like Skingrad because it's a very stylized, very cool looking city. So that's it guys for this video on what makes Skingrad special. Are there quests that take place there that you really like? Specifically, I know some people might like some of the Fighters Guild quests or the Mages Guild quests. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a comment. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode of Dream Vlog or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.